Let's talk grinding tools. We'll start with the hand pieces. Today I'm comparing the E-108 with the MA Ant D1. Other than some packaging variations like color, these appear to be very much the same. This grinder has one, two, three different speeds. This grinder has one, two, three different speeds. If you click on one speed and then wait a few minutes, click again, it will turn off. At that speed, it will not go up to the higher speed. Same with this one. They both charge with USB-C and they both have the same set screw design for the bits. Okay, let's demo our uh, grinders. The first one I'll be demoing is the E108. Does a pretty fine job. We're on lowest speed setting. Now the D1 on lowest speed setting. I'm going to say I slightly like the uh, bit on the D1 a little better. Just slightly. Move down a bit and try speed 2. I generally would not use speed 2. I'm almost always on the lowest setting. But... Speed 2 on the D1. Again, about the same, though I like the D1s bit, a little bit better. And speed 3. And speed 3 on the D1. Yeah, about the same. So, the handsets themselves are basically exactly the same device. Uh, where you get the variation is there might be a slight variation in uh, quality of the grinders. I think the D1 here, the dark gray one, is a little bit better, but only just a little bit better than this uh, E108. Couple of details on the LEDs. That bottom row there is for charging. And once it goes up all the way to the top one, it'll be done charging. This other row is for speed. And that's how much charge battery you have. And then the remaining LEDs on the speed side give you torque. Same on this one. So the handsets are exactly the same and made, probably made by the same place and distributed through other brands. This is common practice in China. Uh, you've probably seen a multi-tool set like this. This is the original Weehaw set, but it's been rebranded and redistributed under many brand names uh, and many different types of quality. This microscope is also made by the same manufacturer, but uh, distributed through many different brands. This one in particular is Amscope. So the real difference comes in what you get with the handpiece. This one here came with these bits as its selection. Uh, they're di completely different bits than what come with this one. Uh, this one comes with a wider selection of bits, but like I said, I think these this one's bits might be a tad bit higher quality, but just a tad. It also comes with uh, drill bits, a couple of drill bits, and some saw blades, and a adapter to put the to mount the saw blades on. It's really a matter of preference of what selection you want. The hand pieces are the same. So bottom line is the hand pieces are exactly the same and if you see any that look like this they'll probably be exactly the same. So it really just depends on what you want to get as far as accessories because there's no difference in these. If you enjoyed this review check out this one here I did on a $44 soldering iron and I'll see you there.